Hello, Kelvin. Welcome to Super Talk Show. It's so nice to have you here with us. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. And thank you so much, Heidi, for the opportunity. <laughs> yeah, thank you for being here. Um, I want to start with just asking you a simple question that I asked everyone already. Um, what can you give an introduction about yourself? Which grade are you in? Stuff like that. All right. Yeah. My name is Calvin Penn. I am a current senior at the Lincoln School in Windsor, Connecticut. It's a boarding school. Um, and yeah, um, I'm really passionate about like a number of different things. Um, let's see. I'm really passionate about history and writing, which is why I entered the Harvard Crimson Global Essay Con Contest. And honestly, did not expect that to go as well as it did, but I'm thankful that it did. Um, and then I'm also really passionate about um, jazz and music in general. It's an integral part of who I am. And finally, I'm really passionate about, I guess, service and serving my community around me. So yeah, that's really, in essence, who I am. Um, outside of like cl the classroom, academics, whatever, um, I just really like um, running, hiking, anything related to nature. And mm -hmm. yeah, all right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those are great passions. And I think hiking would be really cool. I live right next to a forest and I don't go on oh. hiking at all. So yeah, um, I want to jump into like your experience. Well, I can say like maybe winning the Harvard Crimson Global Essay Competition um, for 2022. So I want to start with like the initial like registration process and choosing your topic. Um, what brought you to the Harvard Crimson Global Essay Competition and why did you choose the category that you did? Okay, so I guess like what brought me to the Harvard Crimson Global Competition, um, that wasn't honestly a very dramatic story. I kind of typed oh. into Google, um, you know, um, what are some good global essay competitions to enter into? because um, I was feeling at the time that like my writing had gotten to a point where um, I was like ready to like, you know, put myself into consideration for some of those like larger global collectives of like, you know, uh, people around the world really. So um, I really just like, yeah, searched it up on Google, found the website and I was like, this looks cool. And this looks um, like pretty good opportunity. So mm -hmm. I decided to pursue it there. Um, but how I went about my topic, uh, topic selection, um, so the topic I eventually ended up choosing was um, the argumentative um, area topic of, um, I think it was, um, are, are, uh, is there a right to break um, wrongful laws, basically, yeah. um, or something along those lines. Yeah. So um, I decided on this topic because it really connects several of my passions at the same time. Um, I really, um, like, it allowed me to, first of all, talk about the history of, like, you know, wrongful um, laws from like, you know, the civil rights movement in the United States as protestations against um, laws of segregation, et cetera, mm -hmm. to for example, in the modern day systems of inequity that still exist within like the world as a whole. Mm -hmm. So like I was able to really make that historical connection clear. Plus I'm also somebody who's um, who was at the time taking um, a bunch of ethics and philosophy classes on um, the nature of laws, um, you know, on like whether like on the criminal justice system as a whole and I thought this would be like a really cool connection so that's primarily the reason why I chose it it just was easy to write for me and I knew a lot about it so yeah mm -hmm. yeah definitely and I actually read your essay um your winning essay which was published on their website and I see a actually I chose the same topic so I saw like a lot of similarity you also talked about you know um your internet connection is unstable. Great. Um, I also talked about, like, you know, the segregation, all of that. So I definitely see a lot of similarity in our writing. So I want to like jump into, like, you know, the writing process. Um, did you procrastinate to the last moment or how did you like manage your time? Um, did you do like extens extensive research outside of your knowledge or did you like look at your notebooks, stuff like that? Gotcha. Yeah. Um, okay. So I guess like, um, so I can answer that uh, according to like the different stages of like the competition. So for the first stage of the competition, yeah. where oh, it's yeah, just like, yeah. I see. Right. You submit 500 word essay. Like at that point, I don't think I was really taking it seriously because I thought like, you know, I just like shoot this essay off into the void and maybe, you know, eventually end up doing something. Yeah. So honestly, I procrastinated that to the very last moment. I submitted that as something absurd, like 11.57 p.m. 
um, or some absurd like deadline. Mm -hmm. I think it was an awkward time, um, but like, you know, basically to like the last moment possible. Um, but for my research process for that, I actually um, tried to like be a bit more stringent. I made an outline about like, um, like 15, 10 days in advance or something. Um, and then I really tried to draw from a number of different, different sources basically. Um, from books that I'd read um, as part of my coursework, um, I think I quoted um, one really impactful um, book, which is The Merciful Good um, by uh, John Grisham. It's a pretty like, good tome on um, criminal justice. And um, yeah. And then, um, yeah, so there was that. And I also um, just went ahead and read a bunch of stuff on JSTOR, a um, bunch of academic papers like detailing, you know everything from like criminal justice um like reform and the need for it it's like the nature of the law and like you know long dissertations about like Locke and Montesquieu that I had to pour through oh that my was God. Fun. yeah I was for my global politics class I was just reading like John Locke and also Thomas Hobbes their right. stuff um yeah <laughs> definitely yeah those guys are um they're important but they're also pretty pretty um hard to get through <laughs> let's say that <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, um, and then for my um actual like final stage, um, once it was like announced that I'd, I'd actually like made the final stage, I I was like, okay, I should probably take this like a bit more seriously. Yeah, now. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, right. So uh, what I ended up doing was I um first of all made an outline um of like the essay um basically like about a day after I got like the, got the word, um, but then it got pro progressively more difficult for me after that because. Um, what the contest forces you to do is it forces you to write on the opposite position that you want to initially write on. Yeah, so, um, like, I've pretty strongly identified with my initial position of, like, you know, um, it's right to break wrongful laws because wrongful laws are, like, constructed by society that inherently is unlawful, I guess, in many different ways. So I believe in that position, but to have to, like, write um, to, like, the opposing view entirely, that was, like, a challenge to be honest mm -hmm. so I spent like about like three or four days just like throwing away one outline after another as I like you know try to find better sources and eventually it came down to like crunch time I was just like okay time to just like actually write so mm -hmm. I did that um I finished a draft with about two days to spare um sent it off to my history teacher who got uh gave me some really prompt feedback thanks to Miss Cotton um if you're listening um and uh yeah um it was just kind of a rush at the end but it was um I think I got everything on eventually and you know ended up well so here we are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and I really want to question like how much time do you think you spent on your essay for the first round and the second round because I think I spent way too much time just contemplating than I should and yeah I'm wondering what's your response to this very interested yeah, I, I think I did what you did too, just contemplate way too much. I think I overthink, like, um, overthinked every single little detail in my essay. Like, there were times where I just, like, be confused over a single word or, like, a single, like, sentence in the way I was going to phrase it for, like, about, like, 20, 30 minutes, I'd say. And, like, <laughs> especially in the introduction, it's always hard to, hard to write introductions because they have to be, like, eye-catching and, like, essentially perfect. But, yeah, um, I just spent way too much time contemplating initially, I think. And that was a huge hurdle for me, um, as it was for you. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you think you spent like 20 hours on your second round essay or, you know, maybe just the number? Right. Because some of our super audience That's are enough. also like listening. They are possibly going to participate in the 2023 version of our competition or beyond. So, yeah. Give us a goal, Kelvin. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Um, right. I'd say uh, first round, it was about like, five hours not that much second round it was yeah around that range 20 hours something yeah oh mm -hmm. yeah okay for significantly ramped up <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. and can you give us like this is like our second to last question the, the question we're all waiting for um can you give us a detail of like your response to you like seeing your face on the second place you know picture were you waiting? Did you like wake up early that day or, you know, what was your, your reaction to that? Okay, so a funny story about this is that I kind of messed up the time conversion for whenever that was going to come out. So I was waiting um, 
not morning at like 7 a.m. or something. Oh. And then I realized it was going to be like very late at night for me. Oh. Like at around like a.m. Uh, and I was just like, I got up way too early in the morning um, to start off my day recently. So um, that was um, just a, uh, like, that was just kind of, um, that was just kind of like a moment. But um, yeah, when I actually found out that I um, like won it, I was pretty surprised and shocked, to be honest, because I thought like, you know, out of a full of like 40 different finalists from around the world in the argumentative category, like I thought my essay had like a bunch of holes in it personally, like, and I am a perfectionist, so I always see like flaws in what I'm writing. I'm, I'm just like, I was just surprised that other people didn't see that too and thought it was good enough to deserve something like of that stature. So yeah, I was surprised, shocked, obviously very happy, elated. Um, and yeah, I just texted my like friends and family being like, hey, I did this cool thing, you know, like, look how cool this is. So um, yeah. So that was my kind of like initial reaction um, to winning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. And to end us off for this interview, um, if there's like one tip, one advice or like one quote that you have for a super audience, either about like writing or just, you know, your experience going through high school in general since you're a senior, um, what would it be? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess like one thing I would say, first of all, about writing is um like I know like it sounds like cliche and trite but like seriously outlining is the most important thing you can possibly ever do like do it far in advance of like whatever you're writing because having that planning down is like essential to like constructing a strong argument and that should be the focus of your writing not necessarily like style form argumentation is like the most important thing and it sucks to have to change your argument last minute because you didn't yeah. plan well which I've done a lot so yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, I guess like one final thing also about high school. Um, so this is specifically for any rising juniors out there. Don't like, I, I've heard like junior year, like everybody says junior year is actually insane that you're going to die from stress and everything. Um, yeah, <laughs> you're going to be fine, Heidi. But the point is you're going to be mostly fine. I think like people overhype how hard um, the last couple of years of high school is. And while they are a special challenge because of the looming pressure of like, you know, college of like you know that increasing academic rigor looming over you it's not something that like you can't handle too much I think like what you can do is plan out your time well and also don't, don't take on anything that you don't want to for the sake of like you know applications or college because that really fills up your time way too much with things that you don't want to be committed in and it only leaves you burnt out this is a lesson I learned the hard way um so yeah um, in general, just take it easy, do things you actually want to, and enjoy your years in high school because they're really nice, you know? It's a nice time, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Very well said. I really like your high school advice. It's it's quite calming for, you know, <laughs> yeah. rising juniors like me next year. Um, right. So yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for this, um, for being on this talk show today. And it was really great having you, hearing your advice. And I think the super audience would agree. Thank you so much, Kelvin. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, good luck to everybody and good luck to you, Heidi. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye.